Jeffrey Tubin, uh, let me get your thoughts on how the first couple hours of this uh, extraordinary hearing has been going. Well, he, uh, Barr sure didn't establish that he told the truth when he answered the question about whether Mueller objected to anything he said. I mean, you know, I have to say I found his answers total gobbledygook about that. I mean, you know, th the fact is Mueller wrote a letter of protest. He wrote a letter saying this was not an accurate rendition of the facts when when Barr announced, uh, you know, his summary or his summary of conclusions. And Barr was asked about that. He was asked twice about it under oath, and he said, no, but Mahler had no problems. But that's just not true. And it's still not true after the explanations he gave. I mean, you know, Leahy asked him about it. And, uh, you know, I just don't understand. I, t I was, you know, I'm fluent in English, but I don't understand what his answer is on that. Yeah. Yeah, because the letter, the specific letter, the March 27th letter, three days after the initial four-page document was sent to Capitol Hill, said uh, your March 24th letter, quote, did not fully capture the context, nature, and substance of this office's work and conclusions. We communicated that concern to the department on the morning of March 25th. There is now public confusion about critical aspects of the results of our investigation. The letter is very, very clear, Jeffrey. Well, and after and and when he's confronted with his you know his response to Congressman Christ, he says, "Well, I talked to Bob Mueller, and he had no problem, uh, but he obviously did have a problem." Uh, I mean, Jeffrey, he put let me it in writing. Uh, Jeffrey, let me ask you a question. Um, uh, attorney General Barr said that he took this letter to mean uh, an attorney coming after the case after the verdict. Again, he said his four-page summary letter or four-page document letter. Uh, was not a summary, it was just underlying the verdict. And he said it would be like an attorney saying after the verdict came in, you didn't get in my great cross-examination on day three. That was, I think, a pretty direct quote of what he said. Does that pass the smell test? Is that what Mueller was objecting to? It, no, I mean, it, it, the, the, the whole point of this investigation, as Mueller pointed out in his letter, is to tell the public what happened. The, the whole idea behind a special counsel investigation, as opposed to one under the auspices of the attorney general directly, is so the public can have confidence in the conclusions, so that there is a measure of independence, not total independence, but a measure of independence. And so this isn't about the wonderful cross-examination that Bob Mueller did three weeks ago. This is about the fundamental conclusion. And look, this is also about politics. That letter the four-page letter stood out there for a month, shaping all the public discourse about uh, the, the, the Mueller report, convincing much of the country that there's nothing here. And that's why Mueller was so upset about it, because it was a misleading summary. And then for Barr to tell Congress that Mueller had no objections is just not true.